Hi, friends. Another story we're going to read is David Smells by David Shannon. David Shannon is the author. David has five senses. He can see, he can smell, he can taste, he can touch, and he can hear. Touch. Leave him alone, David. Taste. Don't eat that. Smell. You are stinky, David. Are you stinky? Here. David, that's too loud. And see. Peek-a-boo. The next story we're going to read is called The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. It's autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them across the land. One of the seeds is tiny and smaller than the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seas flies higher than the others. Up, up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burns it up. But the tiny seed sails on. Another seed lands on a tall, icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The other sail on the wind, but the tiny seed does not go high as the others. One seed drifts down, down, down into the desert. It is hot and dry and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seeds is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently to the ground. A bird comes by and eats one of the seeds. The tiny seed is not seen. It is so small that the bird does not see it. Now it is winter. After a long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. A hungry mouse comes that also lives in the ground and eats a seed for lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. 
It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls, and seeds grow so round and full they start to burst open a little. Now they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First, the seed shoots down into the earth. Then their little stems grow leaves and begin to grow up towards the sun and the air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the little plants. It is a big fat weed and it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from the other small new plants. And that is little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry, but finally it too starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings children out to play, so they have too been waiting for springtime. One child doesn't see plants as he runs along, and oh, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow. The tiny plant that grew from a tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has several. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. But what is happening? First there are footsteps, then their shadow looms over them, and then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked a flower to give a friend. It is now summer. The tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on and on, and it does not stop. The sun shines on it, and the rain water waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they've ever seen. It's a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such big, beautiful flower. Now it's autumn again. The days go shorter and the nights grow colder and the wind carries the yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop to the giant flower and sail along the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder and harder. The flower has lost almost all its petals. It sways and bends from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower, and this time the flower seed pods open, and out comes tiny seeds. Quickly, many of the tiny seeds sail far in the way of the wind. I wanted to show you something. I planted some tiny seeds in my, my flower pot, and I wanted to show you what's happening. It rained the other night, and I wanted to show you what the rain made happen. Magic. If you look closely, you can see them. You have to look real close. Remember the plants I told you to plant for the butterflies, the milkweed? Well, this is two types of milkweed that I put into a flower pot and I started to grow to see if it, they would come up and they sure did. So we'll have to start watching this and see how tall it will get. Maybe it'll be like the tiny seed and get as big as my house. Who knows? Let's look at them again, okay?
Thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day and have a great week. Porky is coming. He has been busy eating. I can't stop him from eating. So maybe if I can have him stop eating for a little bit, he'll come and see you. He wants to talk to you about vegetables, his favorite thing to eat. Bye.